Morning everyone. July 3rd, sonnet for June 30th. A uh, little more difficult one to read, so I will take my time to be very careful about it. Um, some interesting uh, contractions that um, are uh, not trippingly rolling off the tongue. Um, so, <sighs> looking at the uh, the themes, and this is sort of what I gleaned and put together from some pretty cool stuff. The idea of theft came up in one, and so I investigated that. But eh, um, flowers are guilty. They steal color and scent and beauty and essence from the beloved, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, so there's an earlier couplet, according to this one site, 35, that claims the youth is the one who steals all of this. Um, I do forgive thy robbery, gentle thief, although thou steal all my par uh, my poverty. So Sh Shakespeare's um, brilliant callbacks to some of his other sonnets is very entertaining. Uh, but what's weird about this, very weird, should have started with this, there are 15 lines. And the conjecture, the talk about it, pfft, Honestly, um, and here's one that's kind of funny. Uh, the sonnet 104 refers to 1604. The sonnet 99 refers to 1599. So hence the number 15 is what they say for the lines. Meh. Whatever it is, here's the sonnet. 99. The forward violet, thus did I chide. Sweet thief, whence did thou steal thy sweets that smells? If not from my love's breath, the purple pride, which on thy soft cheek from complexion dwells. In my love's vein thou hast too grossly dyed the lily I condemned for thy hand. And the buds of marjoram had stolen thy hair. The roses fearfully on thorns did stand. One blushing shame, another white despair. A third, nor red nor white, had stolen of both. And to his robbery had annexed thy breath. But for his theft, in pride of all his growth, a vengeful canker ate him up to death. More flowers I noted, yet I none could see, but sweet to color it had stolen from thee. Thank you.